I just came in starting careers um, at 32, and I, I started, you know, learning the business, learning every asset, started pre-construction. From that, I just decided that I loved it, that I wanted to, to, to be in this industry. Uh, so the goal was project management. So I just started going to night school, uh, taking construction management classes, estimating classes, um, you know, blueprint reading, all of those things. A lot of women come into this industry um, in the admin role just thinking that's that's what they're going to do, but then they get, get in, just like I started at entry level in 1997, then you get in and you just get sucked in. Like you just, you love this industry. I think if I had a woman's organization then, like what we are doing now, it would have been amazing because I would have had somebody that had already been there that could have really showed me, um, gave me some really valuable nuggets and tips as I was going. I mean, I, you know, it, you kind of cl climb your way up um, by yourself most of the time, you know, as a woman in construction. Myself and six other ladies, uh, five of them were on the board of another organization at the time. They came in three years ago and just said, you know, this is very limited. It limits who we can have in the group and we were really seeing a need we want to encompass anyone in and around construction. How are we going to grow more women? How are we going to be diverse in this industry? If we can just create something that welcomes everyone. When they had made the decision that they were going to break away and they said, we want to start something, they had this idea and I just was like, sign me up. Now I'm in. Now I want to do something from the ground up. I went to a career fair not too long ago and talked to the ladies and they were like, well, I'm interested in, you know, architecture. And I was like, I got one of those, she can mentor you. Well, I'm interested in electrical. Well, guess what? I got one of those too. She can mentor you. You know, we can help these girls find a career path in construction. The sky's the limit. We can do anything in construction these days. Like, I mean, there's no, there's no barriers anymore. I really think the barriers are gone from 97 to 2019 with so many women elevating to CEO positions women-owned businesses, um, it's, it's, it's amazing. It's amazing when you meet a woman that has her own uh, HVAC company and an electrical company and concrete company and you just go, wow, that is so awesome, right? Once I started reaching out to some organizations later on in my career, I really, really understood the power of that the power of women helping women and encouraging that. I mean, it's not like there's not been men that have encouraged and supported me, obviously, but there's just something about that camaraderie that is so important. Um, and it just brings you joy. Here now, I think the, the biggest thing I want to do every day is to be a good leader is to elevate others.